Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smith, and today we're gonna do something extra special during writing. We are gonna be writing a sentence later, but before we write a sentence, we're gonna draw a picture. And let me tell you a secret. This weekend is Mother's Day. Shh. It's Mother's Day this weekend. That's that special day where we like to tell our mommies how much we love them and everything that we love that they do for us. And sometimes we like to do something extra special for them, like for a meal or a special gift. So in the classroom, normally we would make some sort of craft. And because we're not at school, it doesn't mean that we can't do a craft. It just means we have to be extra creative. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a picture of you and your mom, and then we're going to draw, or, and then we're going to write a sentence to go with it. Okay. So what you're going to need is you are going to need a piece of paper and you may want a blank piece of paper, one that's blank on both sides, because if your sentence doesn't fit on the front, you could put it on the back. Okay. Another thing that you're going to want is, I think I have one in here. You got, you're going to want a pencil. Okay, using a pencil is best because if you make any mistakes, you can erase it. Now I'm going to use a marker so that you can see mine. Now I want to talk a little bit more about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a day where we celebrate someone who really takes care of us and loves us and protects us, keeps us safe, feeds us, picks us up from all of our events, all of those wonderful things. Now, if that person for you is your mom, I want you to draw your mom and you. That person might be your grandma. Maybe it is your aunt. Whoever it is in your life, you can draw this picture and make this craft for them. Okay? All right. So to get started, I want you to make your picture hamburger style is what we say. And that means it's wide. It's not tall. Let me show you this other one. It's not up and down like this. It's sideways like this, okay? So you'll see mine is sideways. That's the easiest way. Now let me show you what we are gonna be making. That way, every line that we make, you know what it's gonna look like in the end. Sometimes it helps to know what it looks like in the end. So we're gonna be making a picture of us hugging our mother or grandma or aunt or whoever it is. It's gonna be a picture of you hugging them. Okay, now this is kind of a picture of young Mrs. Smith hugging my mom, okay? So I kind of made the hair and things like that match my mom and I. But what's cool about this picture is I want each of you to make it look like you and whoever you're drawing this for. So yours isn't gonna look exactly like mine, and that is okay. The more details that you add to make it look like you and whoever it is that you're drawing it for, the more special it's gonna be. So we'll get into details in a little bit. Is everyone ready to get started? All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make like the face shape. But instead of making an oval, we're actually just gonna make a U, okay? Because we're gonna be adding hair and stuff. So we're just gonna make a U. So I want you to look up at mine. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle, not at the tippy top, not at the bottom or either side, kind of in the middle. All right, now I know my mom's face, and especially you for you guys, your mom's face is gonna be a little bit bigger than your face, right? So here's the mommy's face or the grandma, whoever it is. And then the next face, this is yours, you're gonna kind of attach it to it. So you're gonna kind of make a face like this, okay? See how I made two U's? Now let's add, and this is where you can add details. Let's add eyes. I'm going to do kind of like one of those L noses and a smile. All right. Now this one's going to be your face. So you might give yourself some bright eyes. You can also make a nose like this, like a little button nose. And... A smile. Sometimes I like to add those little lines, almost like dimples. There we go. So now we have two heads, mom's head and your head, okay? Now next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add necks. So I'm just going to, it's kind of like a neck, but it's, we're gonna kind of make this like, almost like an oval, like a straight line over and a straight line up. 
there's mom's neck, and then there's the kid's neck, okay? Next up, we're gonna add shoulders. So for the shoulders, we're gonna kind of just start right over here, and we're gonna go down. All right, it's the outside of mom's, like mom's shoulder. And then we're gonna do it on this side, on the outside of yours. I'm gonna kind of go over and down. I didn't really take it all the way to the bottom, and that's okay. Now this part is gonna look a little silly at first, and it's okay. This next shoulder, because we're making it like we're hugging this person, we're gonna start kind of like where your cheek is, the kid's cheek, and you're gonna make a line over to mom's cheek. It's gonna be like you're wrapping your arm around. See how I'm kind of wrapping my arm around this? So see this part? It looks like it's kind of coming 